Good morning. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Today I'm taking you through a full day of eating. What I eat in a day. We all know I'm a plain Jane. I eat the same thing every single day. You know, it just makes my life easy, but it's so fun for me to film these videos and really challenge myself to switch it up, get creative. So that is what we are doing today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a Fit Dip with Wit again. I am so hungry. It is time for breakfast. I'm gonna start whipping myself up some eggaroos over here. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm cooking up about a cup of the Trader Joe shredded hash browns. I'm going to be scrambling three eggs. I actually cut eggs out of my everyday lifestyle for almost a year. So I've been slowly kind of reintroducing them back in. And lastly, for the super quick breakfast, I'm going to have one of these gluten-free English muffins. I'm trying to see if there's a correlation between gluten and my psoriasis, so I'm cutting it out just to see what happens. For half a muffin, we sit at 110 calories, 24 grams of carbs, one gram of protein. So I'm having one full muffin. I'm going to top it off with whatever is left of this. I can't believe it's not butter. And my favorite seasoning from Trader Joe's, everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend. Listen, it's not pretty, but it's delicious. So half of the English muffin, then I topped it off with the seasoning, added some eggs, avocado, a little bit of cheese, extra eggs over here, and of course the delicious hash browns. Lots to do today, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this real quick, upload a YouTube video, and get ready for the gym. Hey cutie. Hey cutie. Hi cutie. Oh, you so handsome. All right, getting ready for the gym. I filled up my water bottle with water. I'm gonna get my pre-workout ready. I am back on my pre-workout game, okay? So today I'm gonna be taking the Alani New pre-workout in cotton candy grape. I also take their multivitamin right now and a little bit extra vitamin D. This is supposed to help with psoriasis, so that's why I take these two. Gonna get my pre-workout ready, have my water ready, and I'm off to the gym. you guys post workout I only had time for a super quick upper body workout and now I'm going to down a scoop of the Alani new whey protein and fruity cereal I do not have a protein shake like this every day just kind of when I feel like my protein is low this flavor just got restocked I felt bad I didn't know it was out of stock and I kept talking about it because it's my favorite flavor it tastes like fruity pebbles and a little tip for this I always do the least amount of water possible so I can just down it but I found that the more water with this like a good 8 to 16 ounces it tastes delicioso India agrees <laughs> I'm gonna start getting ready for lunch I have a pretty hefty meal that I'm so excited about so I'm gonna take you through it. I'm gonna start by air frying some potatoes that's like my new favorite thing okay you just potatoes crispy potatoes in the air fryer it's delicious and it's healthy and it's quick so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna make a quick skillet meal skillet meals are my jam because they're so easy but I do have a lot of errands to run a little bit later today so let's get going I'm gonna walk you through it it's gonna be delicious and you guys are gonna be so proud of me because I'm finally getting my veggie intake up <laughs> All right, so I have one potato cubed. You can go ahead and skin it if you want. I don't mind the skin, so I left it on. I'm going to pop these into the air fryer, spray it with a little olive oil spray, add a little bit of onion and garlic powder, shake it up really good, and then we're going to fry her up. Because it's an air fryer, get it? <laughs> okay. Have a sit. You ready for breakfast? You ready? Indy. Okay, there you go. Yum, yum, yum. Here you go, Navy. Good boy. Oh, this is a good boy. 
So one thing I've been trying to get into the habit of is prepping ingredients if I don't have time to meal prep. So I have a can of pinto beans, I chopped up a red bell pepper, an onion, some zucchini and yellow squash. So now I'm warming up one tablespoon of olive oil, and then I grab some pinto beans, some yellow squash, zucchini. I'm going to add half a cup of this Beyond Meat. I really like this guy. This is soy and gluten-free and it tastes so good. I go back and forth between this one and the Trader Joe's. The potatoes are done. <gasps> That is crisp. Look at those crispy. I went ahead and added a little bit more garlic and onion powder to this, plus a little bit of pepper. This is just about done. Kind of letting it simmer right now. I'm gonna add this to the potatoes. Super simple, super easy, especially if you have the ingredients prepped like I did, all chopped up. 15 minutes in the air fryer for the potatoes. This took maybe 10 minutes, so come on. Lunch in 15 minutes? You just can't beat it. Some toppings that I really like are ketchup for my potatoes and a little bit of salsa. This is my favorite from Trader Joe's, the garlic chipotle salsa. So I think I'm gonna add this to my mixture, maybe this to my potatoes. Have myself a wonderful, super easy, quick lunch. Super quick before I have to go shower and get ready and do all that nonsense. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about full day of eating videos. I just want to make it clear to you, crystal clear, that I am not a nutritionist. I am not a dietitian. I do not eat perfect. I'm just doing the very best that I can. I'm super proud of the progress that I've made. What I eat may not work best for you and your goals. I hope that these videos spark more of an idea rather than tell you exactly what you need to eat. Instead, just help you get a little creative. That's what I love about these videos. They challenge me to start trying new foods, make new things, that lunch recipe, I've never made that before and it was delicious. And all I did was kind of just toss stuff on a skillet, you know? Okay, that's that. That's the 411. I'll see you back here for dinner. I'm gonna make dinner for Steph and I tonight. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, all right you guys, it's a little bit later. I don't know what time it is. It's 7.20, I'm gonna start getting dinner prepared. Seven's coming over tonight and uh, you know, nothing brings me more joy than when I feed Stefan and he's just smiling from ear to ear. I also feel like I eat better when I make food for Stefan and I. So Stefan's coming over tonight after the gym, getting some food ready all excited i'm gonna roast up some veggies i'm gonna make my own mashed potatoes i'm gonna use the air fryer again and whip up the beyond burger i went to la and visited nikki and she was just like jumping off the walls talking about how good this is in the air fryer so i'm gonna pop these in the air fryer last because that will take the least amount of time I'm gonna get the veggies roasted up the mashed potatoes made the veggies will take the longest anywhere from 20 to 35 minutes popping the veggies in now but let me show you how i'm gonna season them so you can do any veggies you want. Tonight I'm doing half of a red onion. This was the leftover from lunch. Brussels sprouts and butternut squash. I actually just buy these pre-chopped and then it just makes life too easy. Oven is warming up to 475. I'm going to season with olive oil, a little bit of cayenne pepper, black pepper, Himalayan pink salt, and then either olive oil or sesame oil. I haven't decided. You can do either. I wash these, I'm gonna chop them up into cubes, add them to boiling water with garlic. I need to chop up some garlic. So this is the Beyond Burger. Nikki taught me how to make these in the air fryer, so that's what I'm doing tonight. These aren't the best tasting, so I feel like I really have to season them up. So I'm gonna use garlic salt, onion powder. I've been using her a lot today. Salt and pepper. Season these up really, really well, and I'm gonna pop it in the air fryer for six to eight minutes on each side at 375, and then they'll be crispy and delicious. So. 
Over here, our potatoes are finishing boiling. As soon as they're done boiling, I'm gonna drain them, drizzle them with olive oil, and then I'm gonna add maybe about a tablespoon of this avocado oil, plant-based butter. I haven't tried this before, I just picked it up, but I'm excited, it looks good. If I can get it open, ooh, she looks good, look at that, yum. So a tablespoon of this, drizzle this, and then I'll fork it and I'll make some delicioso mashed potatoes. waiting on the burgers have the mashed potatoes and the roasted veggies so there is a bit extra which is awesome because that means I can eat some tomorrow for our lunch and even Stephanie can take some to work the nice thing about this is you can make your portion sizes what you want I use three potatoes and then obviously a ton of veggies but if you don't want extra veggies then you can just roast as many veggies as you want the roasted veggies is an awesome idea for meal prep as well just have a sheet pan full of veggies toss it into every single one of your meals throughout the week just waiting on my patties in the air fryer and then we will eat. Oh, so I'm so hungry. You trying to have some dinner? You trying to eat my dinner, bro? You so eating some I'm gonna eat you for dinner. How about that? How about that? Here's finished product. Here's Stefan. Stefan and I have a ketchup problem, so we'll probably add some ketchup onto the burger or mix it in with the potatoes. Delicious. You want some, huh? You trying to get in on that action? I've been trying to get better at going to bed on time, but it's midnight and I am ready for my sweet treat. Listen, it wouldn't be a full day of eating, a Whitney's full day of eating, if her sweet tooth didn't kick in late at night. <laughs> I've been really enjoying the Halo Top Pops lately, just to help kick my sweet tooth to the curb. The mint chip is gluten-free, so I've been kind of enjoying these lately. Tonight, I'm just gonna go with the classic vanilla yogurt and strawberries. Fruit is the healthiest and quickest thing to kick my sweet tooth to the curb. I talked about this in my favorites video from January. It's called Too Good, Two Grams of Sugar by Light and Fit. This is in vanilla, 12 grams of protein, three grams of carbs, gluten-free. And the reason I like this is because they do not use sucralose or aspartame. So, love this. Gonna pop some strawberries on top. Normally, I would add granola on top as well, but I haven't found a gluten-free granola that I enjoy yet. So, late night snackaroo. Ooh. 